Hello everyone, I'm Greg Luke, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 297 of Factorio with the C-Block mod. Where we, I believe, have gotten our, our polished splinter thingy outpost here working, or just polished crystal outpost in general, of been working. And we are outputting some small amounts of polished splinters, but we have run out of carbon no, silicon carbide once again. And apparently we're not making any extras. So we need to go and look at that. Again. So why are we not making anything here? Something is wrong. Crystal catalysts, of course. But since we fixed our... Oh, I thought we fixed our sulfuric acid problems. We should be working on that. This doesn't look very active, though. Because this is waiting for more. Was there another way of making crystal catalysts that I just forgot about, just out of curiosity? Or just liquefying the uh, geodes, I mean. Because, I mean, we get crystal slurry at our splinter processing just without any sulfuric acid but from the crystal powder do we need sulfuric acid to get there in any way uh, we're using this i think oh we can only get here from what Oh yeah, and from crystal powder, but we can't get crystal powder out of geodes, that's only from the crystals from biter farming. Okay. And most of our sulfuric acid here is probably being used to make crystal slurry for this train that we also need here. Even though we are not in that much, oh, we don't have that high of a demand for it. Mm. But that is a problem that I basically foresaw here. Because we barreled this up at a very, very early stage, so barely anything gets past it. Can we cut just two of these, maybe? If we do this, do these reach? No. Something like that, maybe. Are we low on robots? Yes, we are. Let's see if this helps any. Let's 
So these two rows should now be producing, and they are, that's good. How many do we have? It's a start. Oh, aluminium, we need it for silicon though. Let's just take around and empty out some sulfuric waste water again. Wait, well, actually we have some already, but that's probably being emptied out pretty fast, I would guess. Have any one that is close to full? Yes. So I think we are catching up with the demand. It's just a bit slow. And we might need to just expand this even more. Unless we just want to get to a couple of beacons first so we can just speed it up instead. That would also be a possibility. Silicon crystal catalysts. This is what we're waiting for, really. Also, as soon as these start to fill up, we should be doing better. Shouldn't really be using any of these barrels, I don't think, since we have some up here. No, that's not right. Not there. Where? Here. Being actively provided. We're still just waiting for more silicon carbide there. <coughs> this is for the aluminum. Aluminium. And... Are we sort of good here at least? Have 4,000 available. Why are we not running here? Chunks. Output full. We're not taking care of these dudes. Because we don't have enough sulfuric acid. And I said we should produce that locally, but... Do we not have any canisters available? Looks like we need steel. Have steel available here. Are we just filled up on barrels? Is that it? No. Plastic, not steel. Plastic. Has our plastic production just stopped for some reason? Us uh, plastic needed something as well that oh we need green metal catalysts or something there, and we're feeding those manually with Silver or something. Yeah, this is our oh dear, this is our problem. And is that being made up here? Yes. We need aluminium ore of all things. Aluminium ore. We have fifty six thousand. That should make half a million right as it's one to ten yes so after that it is just our silver that is a problem and we only have nine available in the system so after we get rid of these barrels let's just go grab more where did i get those barrels from eh not here
I didn't empty these out, right? Hmm. And where did I say I wanted to go to silver? Over here, I think. Is this not where we're making silver? No, it's not. Is this silver? Yes. That should hopefully last us until we actually get a silver outpost up and running. Is this silver? Yes. Good, so you can go again. I need to do balancing of these soon. But for now, let's just do this. many do we have ready now? Let's bring those down as well. Are you going where I think you're going? No. We have one station here that is or one wagon loading that is falling behind because all of our trains for barreling stuff takes from there that's a bit stupid but since we're not producing anything more it doesn't really matter anyway it would be really nice with faster robots here but that's not how it works. Plastic is coming. Good. Are you going where I think you're going? Yes, aluminium. You should wait then. Well, why don't we just do this? Catalysts. We have another eight thousand. I 
I think that should be good for a while. Maybe. Probably not, actually. But as soon as the train actually gets filled up here, then it will come with a lot of cores. Could also just go and expand on the production of green metal catalysts, just to not have to do this sort of manual work too often. But, well, maybe we will as soon as we actually get the chests filled. I hope. These in particular need to be balanced at some point. It's going to be fine. Let's so put some more down there. And we should be doing fine here. So back to aluminium. Wait. Do we need anything at aluminium actually? Well, we need it to get plastic in for canisters still don't have enough of but we have some plastic here still yep how are we not getting enough barrels in because we have low barrel numbers okay We do have 1.4 thousand canisters available, or oh, filled with this stuff now. Though. So this should be working now. But we're requesting the wrong geodes, is that right? We need purple and light green. And I saw teal in here. Now we are running out of robots, but that should only be until we have emptied out the GOT. Which could be a while, I know, but still. So this should all be working again, I think. And then we're back to me wanting more silicon carbide. And what is up here? Crystal catalyst still. And that's because we never sent the train. We wanted it to be filled a lot more. 25,000 is half a train. Guess we'll get that emptied out. All of these are actually producing now. Is that because we're full on barrels? No. We're low on barrels. Because we're low on robots then, yes. So here comes our catalysts. Let's just make room for the silicon train to get back into catalyst. Uh, storage, whatever, production. So send this away. Then this should hopefully be back before that. Maybe. 
I'm just going to go back to base and actually grab some robots and get rid of these and all the other junk. And we have started requesting these now instead of tier 1s. Should probably take those down to splinter processing. We're actually doing pretty well on these. Need blue circuits, that's fine. Okay. We need more robots at aluminium. But do we actually need aluminium to work faster? Or is it just that we want to see if it will keep processing stuff correctly? I don't know. We have enough robots here at least. For now. This is all working. We should be making some silicon carbide then, and we are, in small amounts at least. And if we wanted it faster, we really should get beacons going. Or duplicate this, but beacons is the goal here. Let's go to silicon as well. Seven hundred and fifty. Let's go for that for now. Low power. No, that's just because it's only just been placed. Crystal slurry. Shouldn't we export that instead of clarifying it? Because we have low amounts of that down here. How would we prefer to do that though? Should we gather it all down here where we export it from? Or should we just add extra trains to all the stations that need it? It should be the same amount of trains. And it's less work here. So it's probably fine just to export it to where it's needed. Especially if we don't need to bring some sulfuric acid into here, that it's just a lot more efficient than having to use sulfuric acid here to bring it out. Good. That probably means that we're not bringing out as, as much sulfuric wastewater, but I'm okay with that for now at least. Actually, could we just export the sulfuric acid instead of sulfuric wastewater then? I'm not sure. For now though. I'm just gonna bottle this up. Crystal slurry please. And 
request it down here. Good. Crystal slurry overflow. For now, at least. So you go from overflow full to wherever we need it. Crystal processing empty, go. And we should probably do this at silicon as well then. Let's do it. So even if we're not really making a lot of progress towards, well, our goals, then we're at least making progress towards some optimizations. Barrel up, not ferrous concentrate, but crystal slurry. that right? Yes, good. And I'm just gonna take name from there, put there, whoops, and the train schedule from there, and put here. Good. That should work as well. Then we are back to our crystal processing. But everything is standing still because of the silicon carbide. Do have a little bit, let's bring it. Are working here. We don't have enough robots. Eight hundred there now. That's okay. Send that to Illumina where we need it. No, to fish, sorry. Where we need it for the ceramic filters, I think. Somewhere. Here, yes. Though we don't really need a lot of it right now. It's a start. And we. just waiting for this to speed up I guess and while waiting for that we're going to go make some beacons and speed modules hopefully so let's try and actually keep focus now on that this should all be fine right as long as we get more silicon carbide and it is yes. this is more than enough crystals to actually get going with beacons and modules Let's hope we are not missing something else for that then.
also let's just recall our train because we will probably be putting this stuff in there the beacons and modules i mean did we plan any space for this uh, i would expect it to be after assembling machines and that sort of thing Stop it. Don't go in there. Go in here. So right after assembling machines, I guess. Which we didn't do. But then we have pipe up here that shouldn't be here either. And robot stuff. Which should be before. No, that's from this. I don't think we left any space. Let's do it over here. We want to leave space for beacons here. We would need a lot less machines to make modules if we did that, so let's just do it. Maybe the beacons themselves as well. Let's have a look here. So blue modules. Require module case, module main board, speed circuit board, speed module zero, cable harness. And polish blue crystal splinter. And basic module board was needs a phenolic board which means a wooden board which we are making but not putting in here i don't think are we putting trees in here yes so we could cut up trees to get wood to make wooden boards out of the wood I need to keep focus on one thing at a time though. These we can make pretty easily. Actually, we should already be getting everything we need. Oh, I guess we should have filter insert us here. And then we have the problem of not being able to split four different things into six inserters. So I'm just gonna cut two of them. And recall the train. How long does it take to make a beacon? 15 seconds. Should we scale up beacon production then? Let's do it a bit at least. Two, six machines. Then let's focus on blue modules. Oh, we need resin, but we do have that here. We need ferric chloride, though. Have we not done anything with ferric chloride where we're also using robots? I guess not. I could put it at the end up here though, if we wanted to. Let's 
Let's just do that. I'm sure I'm not gonna hate myself for that at some point. There's nothing else here that we could do it with. So this thing, right? We need it for main boards as well. We need phenolic boards for both. And we need module cases and module contacts. But then we should be close after that. I think. <laughs> you need to go somewhere else. Do we have coverage still? I don't know. Let's rebuild it somewhere else. Like here. You do. Baseboard, I guess. And phenolic boards required the same thing? No? It requires resin and wood boards. What was the other thing that needed this? Wasn't there something else? Yes, these. And we need the same amounts of those, right? Basically the same amount of machines. I could do it in an electronics assembling machine. If we wanted to. Sure, let's do that. Which I don't carry around, I guess. Do we have small amounts of faster ones of those? Not right now, so let's just take these. You do that. You do this. They both need phenolic boards, okay. I'm just gonna make those up here, I think. And everything for them as well. Then no boards. Let's do wood boards first then. No, not from that actually. From this. One machine doing that to one machine making these. Okay. But we should probably do it in electronics assembling machines. Or should we? I mean, why not? Good. You do wooden boards. We will cut up the wood somewhere else. This is our module processing area or producing area at the moment at least. Why 
Why do we get wood delivered here right now? I don't know. Good. I'm not having wood in here, right? It is only the trees. Yes. Wood from tree. Done in assembling machines. We're not gonna make 15 of these, we are just making one. I just wanted to look at it. This will make wood using just a timber saw plate. Yes. This will make a timber saw plate, but only output. If we have less than 10 timber saw blade in the system. Good. So now we're producing wood, which probably lessen this limit a little bit. these then we need more resin aren't we getting that in i thought we were resin well we are low this is not going in anywhere really can we maybe get it in right here then looks like it Are not producing any more though for some reason. The melterhide. It's probably just these metal catalysts somewhere. Methanol. Oh, we have too many. Metal catalyst carriers. We had the opposite problem some time ago. What? Let's take our train. Worst case, we make some storage for these. So I think we start. No, we're producing these. Where are we getting the carriers from here? I don't actually know. But this is all carriers going one way. Also, why are we not getting green catalysts here? Because of geo or chunks, sorry. Jivolite chunks. But first, let's fix our problem here. This is maybe not a permanent fix, but still. This is prioritized over this, so we shouldn't be producing any more as long as we have any in here. And Jivola chunks comes from here somewhere. Oh, I had this problem before with the wastewater. So this is where we're producing hydrofluoric acid. 
But we also have a wastewater facility, I think. Not down here, though. Is it down here? No. It's on top of this. Here. That takes fluoric wastewater, turns it into fluoric fluori fluoride ore, if I could speak. And then makes hydrofluoric acid. This just goes directly into this small fluid bus. This is only topped up. But apparently we can still get to a point where we cannot get rid of all of the wastewater. I'm not sure how that works. Because this should make less hydrofluoric acid than we need to make the wastewater. Right? Should we just do that math again? Because I'm curious. So, to make duolite chunks. If we want a hundred of these. We get 2,500 of this. Oh wait, it's for the crystals we need the hydrofluoric acid, not for here. So if we don't need as many crystals, we don't use the hydrofluoric acid. And the crystals are just being used for what? Or whatever. Nothing up here, but we are using some here somewhere, I think. Or something. Here. Or cobalt steel, I think this is. Yes. But we're back down that. So we just need an actual overflow for this. Okay. This needs to overflow. Mm, these are annoyingly not very symmetrical. We can overflow this to those verifiers. Good. Then that shouldn't become a problem again. I think. And we should have solved this problem by getting rid of most of these catalysts. So we should now get resin again that we can use for our modules, hopefully. At least we are producing some, yes. really the chemical plants we we're waiting on. Good. I think we should get rid of this. Good, so we should have everything for these now. Good. We're not using those, right? No. 
get rid of this. Look at this. So we have wood boards. We have these three done. Well, there's six of these, each of those to one of these, though. Mm. So we do need to scale this up more. But I am just gonna call that done. Then we need to make golden contacts. Why are they not in here? Can they not be made in a electronics? Oh, a module contact, not golden contact. It can't, okay. I probably need two machines doing that. I'm just curious here. So one of these goes to five of these, okay. Logos. I think we're making insulated wire down here. Yes. So then we need 15 of these. Are we just gonna run that out here? I guess so. Or we could do these here and do this below. Nah. Module thingies. Shouldn't they be in here? No, they sh well, I would have thought so. Do not have the recipe for that yet? No, we don't. We need to make these first. So we can do science for it. Okay. Dang it. But we should have everything for that part, right? And then we need module science labs, I guess. Yeah, module slab. We need electrochemics lab for that. Okay. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.